Hello to all my tech class friends at home. I'm excited to be working with you. I'm bummed that we're not working face to face, but hopefully we'll get to do that at some point as well. My name is Mr. Ray and we do, as you can see on the screen, tech class. So we're going to talk a bit about tech and we're going to make it a class. That's why the name sort of works. So let's go ahead and dive right in my friends. So we do, as I said, tech class. We're going to focus today a little bit on some of our typing and PC skills. But before we do that, we got to dial it back a little bit. And I want to talk a little bit about what technology is, because obviously that's sort of our thing. So this super crazy long word here, technology, it can be a bit of a mouthful. So that's why we shorten it to tech. Before we get too far on our journey about what technology is, I want to make sure that we know it when we see it. So basically, we just do two simple tests. We ask ourselves a couple of questions. Test number one, when I'm looking at something and I want to know if it's technology, I see if we can turn it on and off. See if we turn it on and off. Then test number two is we take a look and we see if it uses some kind of power. And usually that's going to be electricity. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and dive in. And looking here, we have our lamp. Is this lamp technology? Think about my two tests. Can I turn the lamp on and off? You bet. Can I plug the lamp into the wall for it to get some electricity? Yes. Therefore, ding, 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 the lamp is technology. Pretty cool. How about this chair? Is the chair technology? Well, we can't can't turn that chair on and off, can't put batteries in it, can't plug it into the wall. So therefore, we are left to conclude that womp womp, not technology. That chair is not technology. How about this phone? Is a phone technology? Well, we can turn it on and off, plug it into the wall. It's got batteries, it charges up, does all that crazy stuff. So ding, 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 the phone is in fact technology. Very good. I'm going to let you guys do this next one. Is hair technology? You'll leave that silence there. Hopefully you're yelling out into the room. No. Let's do our test. Can you, can you turn that hair on or off? No. Can you plug hair into the wall? You better not. So womp womp. Hair is in fact not technology. How about this shoe? Doesn't look like it smells very good, so thank goodness there's no such thing as smell -o vision But let's think about our questions. Can we turn it on and off? Nope. Can we uh, smash batteries into it or plug it into the wall? Nope and nope. So what do we think? Womp womp. Not technology. Correct. Not technology. Now, how about this shoe? Before you go too fast, take a look at it rather closely. Think about how it differs from the one that we just saw. Can we turn this part of the shoe on and off? They blink probably, so yeah, we absolutely can. And if those are lights, they've got to have batteries and electricity. So this shoe, as opposed to the previous one, ding, 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 this shoe is totally technology. All right, moving on. Let's look at this hat. Do you think this hat is technology? Can't turn it on and off, can't plug it into the wall, can't fill it with gasoline, so... Womp womp, that hat is not technology. Absolutely not technology. What about, though, this hat? Can we turn that hat on and off? Can we put batteries into that hat and make use of them? You bet we can. Ding, ding, ding. That hat is absolutely technology. How about this delicious PB&J sandwich? I'm going to go ahead and jump right to the chase there. Womp womp, not technology. Can't turn it on and off doesn't take any kind of batteries. How about this glorious, gorgeous fuchsia alarm clock? I'm sure we can turn it on and off, and it takes batteries and probably plugs in. Ding, ding, ding. That one is technology. You bet it is. How about this fearsome-looking helicopter? It looks very sleek and exciting. It does turn on and off. Now, it won't use electricity, so this one is a little bit different. It uses a type of fuel, probably gasoline, or I uh, wouldn't use jet fuel, but um, airplane fuel for sure. So... Ding, 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 that phone, that phone, that, that helicopter is technology. That helicopter is totally technology. How about this thing you're probably working on right now? A computer. Is a computer technology? Well, it sure is, and it is special technology. I want to take a moment and talk about it because a computer uses something very special. A computer uses data, 
data, data, data. We will talk a lot about data. Data is a fancy word for information. We're going to talk about that more in the coming weeks. So I have stick person one says, my name is Jim. And I have stick person two says, my name is Susan. Jim and Susan have now exchanged data. Can you tell me what data have they given to each other? That's right. They gave each other their names. There's names. Here's an example of us providing data to a machine. It's not an exciting machine, but it is pretty darn incredible. A microwave oven. Think about the data that we have to provide to a microwave oven. I'm going to give you a second. Go ahead and shout it out to the room. Try not to frighten mom or dad. But what information, what data do you give to a microwave oven? The time when you put in your Hot Pockets or your pizza rolls, the microwave oven has no idea what's inside. It has no idea how long you want them um, want them cooked. Even if you want them sort of like volcano hot or like a little, just a little bit melty, you must enter in the amount of time. You must provide data to the machine. Computers are very special technology that work with data. So let's go ahead and start diving in to some of that fun data. These are a bunch of apps, a bunch of programs used by Microsoft, and I'd like us to focus on one today, Microsoft Word. If you don't have Word, that's totally fine. Google has a free option for Google Docs. Works great too. But I want to work on our skills to pay the bills. That is typing. For some of the people taking my class, we know that another word for typing then is keyboarding. Keyboarding, because we're using a keyboard to input data. All right, my friends, let's get rocking and rolling by inputting some data for our crazy wacky computers here. The first thing that I would like you to do is type the alphabet. So if you need, go ahead and pause the video now. What I want you to do is go ahead and type all 32 letters of the alphabet. And that pause hopefully is allowing you to scream at the screen, no, there are 26 letters of the alphabet. That's right, I'm testing you all the time. you got to stay on your toes in tech class even when it is virtual and online. So what I want you guys to do, go ahead and type all 26, haha, 26 letters of the alphabet, rock and roll through all of that. Now, if you need more time, it is tricky because looking at the screen, we see that the letters are nice and order. Looking down at your keyboard, well, wait a minute, they're all jumbled up and confusing. It's going to take you a little bit of time. So take all the time we need. I'm going to count down from five and I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video so you have as much time as you need to rock this out so five four three two and one go ahead and pause the video and assuming you have done that let's go ahead and boogie on to our next fun bit of inputting data I want you to go ahead and type your name what is your name type it on your screen and I'm going to count down from five again to give you all the time you need to find those different keys so five, four, three, two, and one. Moving on, having some fun. All right, let's go with some words that we are well familiar with, well familiar with. So just going in here, I want you to type the word sock, S-O-C-K. I'm going to count down from three, pause the screen if you need it, pause the video, but go ahead and type this in. Take all the time you need. So I'm going to count down from three. So three, two, one. Hopefully the screen has been paused and now unpaused or forever may you hold your peace. In addition to that, this time I want you to input data, type the word bulb, B-U-L-B, ding, you get an idea. Be very cognizant of the letter B here. The B is a tricky boo. Make sure it's facing this way and is not one of those other letters for which it is commonly confused. I'm going to count down from three again. If you need to pause the video, rock and roll, pause the video. No one's rushing here. So three, two, one. Moving on. Now I would like us to type the word ball. Inputting our data, type the word ball. Again, B is the tricky boo. So B-A-L-L. -L. Go ahead and type that. I'm going to count down from three again pause the video let's go ahead for that three two one hopefully you have pause and now unpause and let's rock and roll to our last typing word of the day and that will be a fan type in the word fan for me f a n i'm going to count down from three give you all the time you need so three two one awesome all right, my super awesome crazy friends, I think that is all the time we have for today. I look forward to rocking you with some more videos and hopefully some more online tech classes. We're going to do some different things and have some, some fun adventures coming up. And let's finish up with our little tech class song, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.
Raise your arms and cheer Cause Tech Class is here Hooray! Tech Class, oh we love Tech Class So much fun for you and me We all love technology Raise your arms and cheer Cause Tech Class is here Hooray! Tech Class, oh we love Tech Class